to talk about all things jobs and media, I'm joined now uh, by Leo Hendry. He's the founder and managing partner of Intermedia Partners, a private equity fund uh, that is focused on the media industry. But Leo uh, is much more than that. He's been a big part of the cable television world, having run TCI under John Malone, also the Yes Network, and uh, and many other things. And I know that you do business, but you have jobs on your mind these days, Leo. Uh, before we get to that, though, your reaction to this GM news? Well, if you look back at, at, the, at the tragedy of, the, of this financial crisis we're still in so deeply, Betty, it was substantially driven by consumer credit to, to people who couldn't afford it. And, and you know, it, it, there's a certain irony that in the finance reform bill that was signed yesterday, we excluded auto, uh, the auto dealers. And yes, they got out of that. They got out of that through some outrageous lobbying that came out mostly out of the state of Tennessee. But you know, you, you, you just you just you just keep stuff and stuff under the rug here, Betty. And and, it, and you just, wonder why we're so cynical. Well, I'm I'm incredibly cynical. Here here Ed is trying to take GM public, and so he grabs off a subprime lender, and and you just you just you just have to just shake your head and wonder when are we going to learn that the, that the, that the vibrancy of the middle class, the honest vibrancy of the middle class, is all that matters, and and you can't fuel. Uh, growth through subprime lending. Well, but the thing about uh, about these auto lobbyists is that uh, you know they were able to show or able to demonstrate or able to not even demonstrate. I mean, they were just able to say, "Look, we're Main Street America. We should not be a part of these rules." Well, it's just not right. In all fairness, that entire industry, the financial industry of which the auto guys were part of it, they spent six hundred million dollars weakening this bill. And Tim Geithner, in your earlier segment was lauding the bill and and all i can say is it's better than nothing hmm. we, we've got a standard now uh on on legislation that it's better than nothing uh, i thought the health care reform was certainly better than nothing I, I think the finance reform is better than nothing but, but we end up with an economy that's yeah, better and, than and, nothing and we're, we're still doubting whether elizabeth warren who's the only honest spokesperson on behalf of the middle class is going to get the job she most deserves yeah yeah i well kudos to her i, mean, I know she's kudos working. to her yeah i agree and she'd be cringing at this announcement today i promise you yeah i i, I agree and in fact uh you know she's talked quite a bit about how there needs to be honest and there right. needs to be straightforward regulation right. of uh, of all these types no, of you're, you're going to give Elizabeth a twitch if you keep doing we this We need stuff. to bring her on. If That's Elizabeth right. is watching, she needs to come on to talk about that.